Hi everybody. Today I got motivated and made an install for Transparency Maker. So if you don't have Visual Studio on your computer and you want to use it, the link is in the video description and it's free. And if you do have Visual Studio, the code is here. I'll just show you real quick. Here is the link to it and I'll also paste this in the video description. As well as the README here has a little bit of a, kind of the, the documentation, so if you want to read that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do though is show you how to create textures using paint.net which is the poor person's Photoshop and it's free also or you can buy it in the Windows Store for five dollars and I'll put the link to that in the video description also. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to make a texture. The first one is pancakes. I, I don't guess I was hungry when I thought about making this but I bought this little stock photo of a pancake texture. And if you want to make text for that, what I'm going to do is, if you hit Control A, that'll copy everything in the image. And then hit Control C, so that puts it to the clipboard. And then just hit File New. I don't want to create that, but that gets you the image size of the image you were, your original. So what I want to do next is click the Paint Bucket icon. And I've already got black selected, so I'm just going to give me a dark color here. I'm going to click the Text icon, and I want to use yellow text. And I'll just go ahead and type out my text. I'm going to, I believe the one I want is Cooper Black. Uh, give me, there it is, Cooper Black. And I'll get a kind of big font there so you can see it. And I'll type Paul's Pancakes. Okay, that gives us, I'll even make that a little bit bigger. Sorry, make that pretty big. All right, so that is our, going to be the, first thing we're going to do is save this. So let me just hit Save As. And I'll just call this Paul's Pancakes Yellow Text. And I'll hit Save. Now I'm going to open up Paint.net. I'm going to use the shortcut. Sorry, I have it open. But I'm going to use the shortcut on my desktop instead of Visual Studio. So just click on it. This is the way Paint.net looks when it opens. Click Start. I'm now going to select the Paul's Pancakes Yellow Text. Give that a second to open. Now this is the color picker. If you're not familiar, just click it and it'll give you some information about your image. Now here, like the total is what I use the most, which is just the sum of the RGB. But I actually know that black is what I don't want. So what I'm gonna say is just hide pixels where total is greater than 20. So I'll hide all the yellow text. Might leave a little bit, but that's fine for pancakes. It won't matter. And now we're gonna hit save as, and I'll just call this Paul's Pancakes Transparent Text. All right, save. Now what I want to do is close this, and we're going to go back to paint.net. We can close down the yellow text, and we're going to open up the transparency one. Tra excuse me, the transparent text right there. Now I want to hit Control A and then Control C to put that on my clipboard. Go back to my pancake texture, add a new layer, Select the new layer, and I'm going to paste in my Paul's Pancakes, and there we have our pancakes um, written in text. Now, if you want to get rid of the black, that's real easy. I'll go ahead and just hit Save As, and I'll say Paul's Pancakes Black Background or something like that. Hit Save. Now, I'll go back to Transparency Maker, open it up again. And I'm going to select my Paul's Pancakes with the black background. That's not it. That's the yellow text. Sorry. Close file. Save. Where is my file? Paul's Pancakes. Where did I just save that? Sorry. I must not have saved that in the right place. Hang on. Save as. Oh, sorry. I was working. Okay. Video. Where is it? Oh, I saved it as a PDN. Sorry. Okay. That's the... If you have it saved as, by default, it saves the, uh, as a PDN, which is the paint.net, and I didn't save it as a PNG, which is going to collapse the layers, which is what uh, Transparency Maker needs. Sorry about that. That was an oops moment, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Okay, so now I have the black background. So there, that's what I want. Now here I'm going to do the opposite of what we did earlier. I just want, I know this is black, but I'll just, just to show you. Hide pixels where? total is less than five so we'll just get rid of all the black okay and that's our Paul's pancakes little logo and I'll just save that as Paul's pancakes logo or something like that all right 
And I'll show you one more, and you can figure this out after that. But this is how I made the little uh, introduction, the, the the video cover image also. But I'll just open up another one. So we'll close this, and we'll go over to back to our little uh, directory here. And I'm going to this time open up the green grass sample. I was just thinking of something else to do. And here I want to do the same thing, basically. I'm going to hit Control A and Control C to get the image copy. Say File New. Hit OK. I want to paste in. I'll just do black. Oh, sorry. Let me get to black over here. Ah, if I could select black. OK, there. I have black selected. Now I want to get text selected. And I will use yellow for this. And here I'm going to just say, oh, we'll go with Gina's grass or something like that. Uh, let's see if I can find another font. I saw one I like. This is what I used uh, for the video cover. I used Showcase. Let me see if I can find it. Showcase. There it is. Okay, so we'll just use that. To, that's fine for, for this. And we'll say save as. So it's a real simple process. Basically, just save it with some text you can easily get rid of. So we'll just call this grass yellow. Go back over to Transparency Maker. Open the grass yellow photo image. We want to, I know that's going to be something in there. We'll just say hide pixels where. Again, same thing. Total is greater than 20. And this probably should have used a different color than yellow because it leaves a little bit. But that'll be fine for grass. Save as. And we'll just call this grass transparent. And now we are going to uh, go back over to paint.net. I'm going to open up the image. We don't need the yellow one anymore. And I can close the pancake stuff too to give us a little less stuff. Open up the grass transparent. Now what we want to do is hit Control A and Control C. Go back to our grass image. Come over here, and now I'm going to paste there. So now we have our text with grass. Now we're going to save this. So it's real simple. I think there's probably I know Photoshop, and I'm sure there's all kind of ways that you can do it all in one program if you have something that you pay for. It's probably more advanced, but since this is, to me, though, this is still pretty simple. And I'll just hit save it as a PNG, try to remember this time. And we'll just call this grass small black background. And then go back over to paint.net. I mean, excuse me, back over to Transparency Maker and open that. And then you can just get rid of the black with one little query. Hide pixels where total is greater I mean excuse me less than five so that'll get rid of all the black okay and now I can save that image and that's how you create text in any texture using paint.net <coughs> excuse me with transparency maker thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know um, I'm also considering changing the name to pixel database let me know your thoughts on that because it does a little bit more than making things transparent. I think this is a pretty neat way to create text that's kind of useful and it's a little bit more uh, appealing than just you know using solid colors or even gradients. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.